Wrestling fans in New England, the coronavirus has us locked down and missing a traditional WrestleMania this year. So let's relive some New England wrestling history, the good old days of professional wrestling. Don't forget our MWF Project X Loose Cannons live event presented by Brian Pillman Jr. and the Uprising has been postponed until Sunday, July the 12th at once Somerville in Somerville, Massachusetts, which should be a wild 18-plus night of booze and brawls. Then the big one, our MWF Project X Back to the 80s reunion with live wrestling and autograph photo fan fest, VIP question and answer session and more, featuring Jake the Snake Roberts, Road Warrior Animal, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff, Axe and Smash Demolition, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Mr. USA Tony Atlas, the genius Lanny Poffo and more, has been postponed until Saturday, November the 14th. At our home, Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. Tickets for both events available at bostonwrestling.com. While we're all housebound this week, look for a brand new episode of Wrestling Insiders with Demolition Smash, Barry Darso, as we discuss Demolition's omission from the WWE Hall of Fame. Where were you 41 years ago tonight? The World Wrestling Federation was live at Jack Witchie Sports Arena in North Attleboro, Massachusetts, Friday, April the 6th, 1979. In the opening contest, S.D. Jones battled Johnny Rods to a time limit draw. Alan Coage defeated Steve King. Bulldog Brower battled Steve Travis to a double disqualification. Frank Williams fought Jose Estrada to a draw. And in the main event, Polish power Ivan Putski defeated WWF Tag Team Champion Johnny Valiant via count-up. If you were in North Attleboro Live, share your memories in the comment section below. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.